this is the sprocket of course and if you notice the coarse threads right what they do is they thread into this side of the clutch notice the threads on the inside if you can see it so in essence what happens is this okay then you have your brake shoes on I'm just putting one on about like that okay then you take your brake shoe tensioner and it fits on like this so in a nutshell this is what the inside of your hub looks like okay and by pedaling fell so by pedaling or by back pedaling it expands or it engages the clutch or it pushes the clutch so that it, it pushes the brake shoes against the inside wall of your hub and that's how all that goes together so what I'm about to do is put this whole assembly back together that way y'all can get a hands on uh, bird's eye or a hands on view of what, how this goes together remember this is a very messy thing to do there's grease everywhere okay so first thing first I'm putting my clutch back inside my hub and inside the hub there's a lip and it causes the clutch to rest in there when I put the clutch in I'm going to put the prongs at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock okay so they're going in and you want that clutch to sit as even Steven as possible inside that little lip that makes life a ton easier for you next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install my brake shoes and I'm going to install the brake shoes perpendicular to the prongs so if the prongs are at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock the brake shoes are going in at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock and they just sit right down in there okay now from the bottom of the bicycle what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw my sprocket into the clutch and you want to turn it until it doesn't turn no more okay just like that let it rest there okay next thing you want to do is you want to take your small bearing you want to install it inside the little dust cup dust cover and you always want remember you want the balls of the bearings right here to face inside towards the inside of the hub okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it up through the clutch and let it rest now holding it with one finger because gravity is a mother I'm going to take my my brake shoe nut and I'm going to thread it into the top but before I do that oh, before I do that I need to install this bearing remember balls face towards the inside of the of the clutch I mean of, of the hub and you just set it in there and you want it to set even and you want it to rest gently okay just like that now I take my brake shoe nut and I start threading it on okay now remember earlier when I told you that the the two gaps the two spaces on the brake shoe nut and remember also when I told you how I placed the clutch in with the prong and I put the clutch um, the prongs at 12 and 6 o'clock this is why that's important I'm going to make it to where the little spaces that that the prongs fit into are also at 12 and 6 o'clock now what I do is I simply let let the axle go down until it fits snug should be like that 
actually I need to rotate a little bit more I think. then what I do I put my dust cap on then I put my washer on no sorry about that then your torque arm your torque arm is next you shouldn't be able to confuse this but in case you need to know this torque arm bends you want it to bend away from the wheel okay and just set it on there like that then you put your washer then you put your nut then you just thread it all back together again and this takes some time well I'm having an issue here hang on don't force threads if you feel like you're coming into some tension unnecessarily go ahead and stop back your threads out a little bit and then try again it's important that you do this and the reason why that's so important is because you don't want to cross thread anything if you cross thread things you can ruin bolts you can ruin the piece you're threading and that causes a lot of mess and sometimes it can permanently damage the part sometimes you have to get a tap and die set which is a big hassle if your sprocket comes unscrewed from the clutch go ahead and just screw it back on there and you just keep working your way up just like that and that is pretty much it like I said you want to put your torque on, on after the dust cap then you put the washer and then your nut and you just thread it all down I'm not gonna go through the last bit y'all know how to tighten threads just in case you needed to know though check this out one thing you can do to make sure you're not cross threading is you back the nut off the whatever you're fastening whether it's the screw or nut in this case it's the nut onto the axle you back it off gently until you hear a click when you hear that click then you turn it and thread it that click kinda helps you set the set the threads up but that's it guys that's the disassembly and reassembly of a bicycle wheel. Coaster, uh, just cruise your bike dudes. Uh, anybody that's using a, a bike that has a, a coaster brake on it, this is applicable too. The only difference is you don't have two sprockets you're messing with. And you don't have to cut down your dust cap. I'd like to talk to you all a minute about grease too. It's important because it cuts down on friction and it helps keep everything kind of lubricated to a point and this grease I'm using is just super tech grease I borrowed it from my neighbor Bill it's some purple looking stuff it's basically axle grease I assume uh, there's also bearing grease out there it's all automotive so anything automotive should be okay I've greased bearings with I've greased axles with this stuff I've used another color it, it, the color doesn't really matter so as long as it has the right as long as you pack that stuff in real well and that's the end of assembling a wheel and disassembling a coaster brake wheel. I hope I was able to help you guys out. And uh, remember, fellas, if you got a chick, you got a girlfriend you're living with, or whatever y'all are doing, or a roommate, if they're nice enough to let you work on junk in the living room, be nice and clean up. That way, next time, they'll let you do it again. That's it. Later.